Hello and welcome to the TechCert YouTube channel. So, the situation we would like to solve today. Let's say we've got a domain bot on Route 53. In my case, HTF here, .com. We've got a website and we would like to add a support email. The email ending should, of course, match the website. So, for example, we would like to have support at htfhere.com, but we don't have such email and we would like to have these emails to be forwarded to our Gmail mailbox. And the third assumption, we would like to not use Amazon Workmail. Why? Because it costs $4 per user per month. So we would like to avoid this uh, fee and how to do it. To do this, we will use Amazon Simple Email Service, SNS and Lambda. As you can see, the root 53 will point to the Amazon Simple Email Service. From the Simple Email Service, we will send um, a message to the SNS. Message from the SNS will be grabbed from the, by the Lambda. And then we will do some formatting and push it to the SNS again. And the second SNS will send the email to our Gmail account. We start by entering into AWS Management Console and going to Amazon Simple Email Service. First thing that we need to do is to create an identity. So on the left side, we click Identity, Create Identity. Now we would like to select the domain and down there type the domain that you own. So in my case, it will be htfhere.com as stated there. Do not select any of this. Down there, you would like to select this one and this one. The rest uh, stays as is. You can add some tags if you want or not. Now we would like to create this identity. And after a moment or two, there will be an information that the configuration is pending. So we've got this uh, CNAME entries, they should be automatically created in our hosted zone. Let's refresh that. Yeah, and as you can see, they are there. We simply now need to wait a moment or two for the configuration to be complete. Uh, after a few moments, when you refresh, you should have there the green sign uh, successful. If that's the case, we can move forward. Now we will uh, create SNS topics. We actually need uh, two uh, SNS topics. The first one will be used to uh, subscribe the Lambda. In the Lambda, we will do some JSON formatting. And then we will publish the message to another SNS topic that will send email to our Gmail account. So we need two SNS topics. Let's create the first one. It can be a standard topic. Let's call it test to Lambda and create topic. And let's create another one. Again, it can be a standard one. The second one will be Lambda to Gmail. Okay, we've got uh, these topics. Now let's create a Lambda that will do the JSON uh, formatting. So go there to the Lambda, create the function, uh, email formatter, let's call it like this. We will use Python to do the formatting and create the function. Now, uh, remember that all the necessary links will be down there in the description. And in our case, we now need some code. In the description, there will be a link to, to this uh, GitHub repo. And of course, uh, remember to check the readme because I might do some modifications later on. But at the moment, what you need to do is to go to the Lambda function py, copy the code. Now go back to the Lambda, paste the code down there. And a modification that we need to do is to enter, set the uh, ARN topic there. 
what kind of topic should this be? It will be the lambda to Gmail. So copy that, paste it there. And don't forget to deploy your changes. What else we need to do? There's the configuration and we need to give the Lambda permission to publish to the SNS topic. So you go to the role name. Now we need to create inline policy. There we need to select SNS, write, publish. Down there, let's pick a specific um, SNS topic. In my case, it, this is EU West 1, and the topic name would be Lambda to Gmail. Now enter some policy, policy name, and create the policy. Okay, we are done there. Mm. And what do we need to do? We also need to create an MX record in our uh, hosted zone. So create a record. This will be like the MX one. There, leave it blank. And what you need to write down there. This link will be in the description. Please copy that. Paste it there and the region, you need to, of course, change it to your region. In my case, it, this is EU West 1. And create the record. Is there, so, so we are good. Now, uh, we need to subscribe the Lambda to our SNS topic. So let's go to the SNS topics. And we are talking about SES to Lambda. So create the subscription protocol, which is the Lambda. The endpoint will be email formatter because this is our Lambda and create the subscription. Now what we need to do, we need to subscribe our Gmail to the second topic. So Lambda to Gmail, let's create the subscription as the protocol we would like to select email. Now uh, type the email. In my case, this will be HDF here at gmail.com and create the subscription. We need to confirm the subscription. So go to your email and you should have something like this. Please click it. Okay, subscription is confirmed. And what else we need to do? We need to activate the email yeah, in the SES. So I'll go back to the Amazon SES. Now go to the email receiving and we will create the rule set. Mm, let's call it something like this, create the rule set. Now we will create the rule. Give there some name. Uh, you can select this one next. Now we would like to create a condition. So we would like to forward all mails that are sent to support at htfhere.com. Next. And the action would be to publish to Amazon SNS topic. Now you might be wondering why not to simply push to SNS topic and to our Gmail account. You could do this, but you would have like a big JSON with all the information that are mostly unnecessary. So we will send to the SNS, to the email, and again to the SNS and at the end to our Gmail. Now you also might be wondering why not simply pick this AWS Lambda function. For some strange reason, if you select the Lambda function, you will only have the 
title of your email so you won't have any content that's why we need this sns topic we can select the utf8 and now we want to select s as a simple email service to lambda next create the rule last thing that you need to do down there we uh, up there we need to select set as active and as far as I remember, we should have everything set up. So let's check it. Let's send an email to support at hdfhere.com. So the subject. And let's send it and wait a moment or two and check if we will have this mail there. I hope we will. There it is. So we've got the subject. We've got the information from whom. We do have this email to whom it was sent, the date and the content. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check the links in the description.